and uh, we're at this elementary school and uh, it's a densely populated residential community and we got a couple of playgrounds here quite a beautiful area for these families but we have that monstrosity over there that we uh, referenced earlier today. So we're concerned. Uh, there's at least 20 uh, antennas on that, and the lower boom is 5G, which we don't think is activated yet. We're going to do some reading so we know what's going on with the radiation. So we're in the mid-extreme level from that tower. We're going up to 3.69 peak signal volts per meter. That's non-thermal biological effects. 3.76. So this is of significant concern uh, for any children playing here. Uh, 0.5 is where adverse health effects, so this is well above that. 0.69 is of ex extreme concern, according to the Bio Initiative Building Biology. Health Canada, which is we believe is corrupt, allows over 27 volts per meter, which is basically a crime against the Canadian people. The The average power output, which is thermal, we're getting up over 3,600. Again, that's more than triple where it should be in a public area, which is 1,000. So this is troubling. Let's move a bit closer to the school. So the readings, just as we move, they're already going a little higher. And we, we're figuring if we get by that school, this thing's going to be peeking out. And one thing we noted is these deadly pulsations in the family's home. And we're getting the same pulsations here. And this is part of the, the real negative impact on human biology. So, as we expected, because we've done a lot of readings, NCA, um, the meter is basically peaking out now. So, I guess we're about 500 meters, maybe 700 meters from the tower. And we're going all the way up to 6 volts per meter pulsating. We're up to close to 8,000 microwatts per square meter as well. 7,600, 8,600, is there a lot of kids coming around this part? 
when yeah. they're in session. Bail rides, scooters, and stuff. They're all coming through yep. here. Yeah, this place is full on a school it's day. It's full with kids. So, you know, the, the meter doesn't lie. This shouldn't be allowed. This is a uh, existential, direct existential threat to the, the well-being of the children, families in this area. This is Auburn Bay Boulevard. Auburn Bay Boulevard, and that's the direct source of the EMF radiation. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation coming out of the telecommunication industry. They're saying that the radiation is declining exponentially and it's safe within 15 meters of the tower. So they're basically lying now. Uh, they've been doing it. We're about 700 meters and this thing is very extreme. The problem is Health Canada through the Parliament of Canada and the establishment parties has rigged it to allow these type of uh, deployments. And the only thing that's gonna change this is a mass rising of the Canadian people and people worldwide against what's going on. But this is the real existential threat now in our communities, country, worldwide. It's not COVID or anything like that. Uh, this, is, this is the one they're not talking about. This is the direct existential threat. Profit, money, power, control, uh, ego, uh, cycle, Pathic behavior is is trumping public health and well-being so we, we we need to tilt it so it's the other way around right if, if you don't have your health you don't have anything but the meter doesn't lie any questions comments no you're right the meter doesn't lie Jamie anything you want to no, are you are you surprised no, we kind of knew that this was bad. How's your meter showing up? Uh, it pulses uh, 28, I just got 28,000, 20,000. How do you feel physically being in this environment? Uh, well, I, like I said before, it's part of it, you don't know if it's psychological because you know it's bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I don't feel good being here, that's for sure. I wouldn't want to stay here and read a book or anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just raise awareness. That's all we can do.